Hello everyone. In this tutorial, what I'll be covering is how to insert information or data into a database from a PHP file or script. So if we back up to what we covered in the last tutorial, we created a config.php file where we were connecting to the server and then we selected a particular database that we wanted to access. In this case, it was Phonebook. But in this tutorial, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pick up from that point, but in this tutorial, I'll be including this entire file, this config.php file in our other files that we're gonna create here in a second. But what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna comment out this MySQL close function because since I'm gonna be including this in our other files, I don't want to close the connection right away. So in a way, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Then I'm gonna go back over here to our new file. I'm gonna save this one as, let's save it as index.php. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna show you is of course the syntax for how to insert data in a MySQL database. So up here, let's put syntax and we're first gonna say insert into and in calps. Then we're gonna have table name. I'm gonna have field one, field two, field three, and you get the point. Then I, on the next line, I'm gonna say values, and I'm gonna say value one, let's see, value one, value two, and value three, and again, so forth. All right. So let me just quickly reevaluate what we have here. It's pretty straightforward. Here I'm saying insert into, that's our special way of saying, hey, we wanna insert some information into a database. And then we say, what table in that database do we want to actually access? In our case, it's gonna be context. But in a way, then we say which fields or which columns do we want to access? And we have those laid out here, field one, field two, field three. In our case, it may be first name, last name, then phone number and so forth. Then we come to this next line that says values. Here we're saying what values do we wanna insert into field one, field two, and field three. So we lay those out right here. So of course, if you have three fields up here, say I didn't have any more fields, I had three fields here, I would have three values on the next line. So it should be very straightforward. So very quickly here, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and include our config.php file. And let's go ahead and put some double quotes in here as well. In a comment, I'm just gonna say connect to database. So again, this, including this config.php file is something that a lot of PHP programmers do. Again, if we go back to our config.php file, this is where we, again, connecting to the server, selecting the particular database we wanna access. So you don't wanna have to continue to type that out every time you're having a new file that's gonna access the database. So with this line of code, including it basically allows me to Include all the information without having to type it again. So before we continue on, let's first go back to PHP My Admin just to get a quick refresher here. Remember we had a database called Phonebook. Then we had a table that we created called Contacts. And within that table, we had fields, first name, last name, phone number, or zip code, or in the newer PHP My Admin, they refer to these as columns. So we had column, first name, last name, and so forth. So. Going back over to our PHP file. What I'm gonna write here is just a MySQL query. Say MySQL query parentheses insert into the table's contacts. I wanna access the first name field, the last name field, phone number field, as well as the zip code field. Then I'm gonna close my parentheses. On the next line, I'm gonna say values. Then I'm gonna say inside first name, I wanna place the string Tom. Inside last name, I wanna place green. Inside phone number, I want to place, let's say 555-987-0123. And in the last field, zip code, I'm gonna put an integer so I don't have to really care about the single quotes here. 
And then I'm going to end my parentheses, end my double quotes, put another parentheses, and finally a semicolon. So let's quickly go over this again. Here again, we're using special MySQL function, MySQL query, underscore query. Then we have this open parentheses. We start our double quotes here. And then we're using that special name, which I indicated up here in the syntax, insert into. And we're saying insert into the table contacts. And then we're saying the fields that we want to access within the table contacts is first name, last name, phone number, and zip code. And we have four columns or four fields here that we indicated that we want to insert data into. So PHP or MySQL is expecting us to give him or give her whatever it for different values. So I'm inserting a string Tom. And here again, I put some single quotes here, Tom green, and then the phone number and then the zip code. So when I run this file, when I go to this index.php file, it's going to execute all this information and go ahead and add this information into our database. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. And then in my browser, I'm going to go to localhost. I'm going to go to the PHP basics. It's in my phone book folder and we named it index.php. All right, so nothing happened here. That could be a good sign. It could be a bad sign. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go back to our database here, and I'm going to click on contacts. And as you can see, it did insert Tom Green as well as the phone number and the zip code. Now, something that we could do, just so we don't have to wonder, well, did it add it? Maybe it didn't. We could basically delete that semicolon and type or die and say connection failed or let's say could not add new contact how about that then end that with a semicolon so what we're also going to do let's say echo new contact added all right and i'll explain this here in a second so i'm going to save it and purposely what i'm going to do here is Put an incorrect table that we know we have not created contacts to. We don't have that table inserted in our database. So I'm going to hit save. And what I'm going to do is refresh this page. And as you can see, it said could not add new contact. So basically what it did was it executed this line of code and it saw that contacts to that table did not exist. So it automatically went to this or die statement and this and it went ahead and displayed this message here and it didn't continue on executing any other code that we may have had in this file. So what I'm going to do very quickly here is delete the two there, save it again, and then refresh this page. And as you can see, it says new contact added. So this is just a really great way for you to verify that the information actually was sent to the MySQL database. And you won't have to come over here to PHP my admin and just refresh the page just to make sure. All right, so now what I'm going to show you how to do is how to actually insert information into a MySQL database from a basic HTML form. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is create a new file. We're not really going to use this file anymore. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually save this page as, let's say, contact, uh, let's say, contact form. And since I'm only going to put HTML code in here, we can make it an H. HTML file if we want to. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do is create a simple form here. I'm going to have a form, then an action, and I'm going to say add contact.php. Of course, I'm going to have to create this file here in a second. I'm going to say the method is going to be post. All right, and then the first field I'm going to have is going to be called first name. It's going to be a text field. So I'm going to say text, the name, it's going to be first name. And just to speed up things here, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this line here. And let's say we're going to have one for last name. We're going to have a phone number, zip code. And we're going to also have a input type as a submit. And I've went over this in a previous tutorial, so I'm just kind of speeding through this so the video doesn't turn out too long. In a way, again, I'm going to have a last name here. I'm going to have, let's say... I believe it's phone number. 
I'm going to have zip code. And then also what I need to do is change the name or you can consider this like the variable that we're using to identify these text fields. And here I'm going to have phone number and the name can be anything you want. But normally if I can, I try to make it match the actual HTML text that I have over here. So zip code, phone number, last name and first name. All right, so that's our contact form.html file. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And now, like I said, our action, which is telling this form where to send this data to, uh, is add contact.php. So I'm going to go ahead and create that. And first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and save it. Add contact.php, hit save. So the first thing that I'm going to do is start a PHP scripting block. And I'm going to say I want to include our config.php file. Again, that has our database information inside of it. Then in a comment, again, I'm just going to say connect or let's say connect to database. All right. Next, I'm going to say my SQL query. Again, basically what we had in the other file. Actually, let's speed this up a little. Speed this up some. And let's just copy what we have here. And the only thing that I'm going to change here is our values. So in this field, I'm going to have dollar sign underscore post square bracket. Then I'm going to say first name. Then in the green field, again, this is stuff I've covered in a previous tutorial as far as how you access the information that you sent over from the form. So in contact form .html, again, I have this first name identifying the text field first name. So over here in my add contacts.php, I'm identifying here that I want to take what information I put in that first name text field into the field first name. So hopefully this will make more sense. But again, I kind of went over this in a previous tutorial if you are a little lost here. But anyway, I'm going to say dollars underscore pose. We want last name here. And then over here we want post. What was it? Phone number, I believe. And lastly, we're going to have oops, we're going to have dollar sign underscore post zip code. All right. So hopefully I have everything here typed out correctly. And lastly, here on a new line, I'm going to say echo new contact added. So it seems like it was a lot done here, but really it wasn't. Uh, most PHP scripts uh, work in this fashion here. So I'm going to go ahead and save this file. All right, so let's just quickly reevaluate here. Let's start back at the contact form.html. Again, I just created a simple form here, nothing really special. The only thing here, I, I had to make sure I created a page called addcontact.php using the same letters, the, the same capital letters, same lowercase letters, and everything like that. I indicated that I was using the post method. So if we go back to the addcontact.php, that's the reason I use the dollar sign underscore post and going back over here again i created a name or you can think of this as a variable for each one of these fields so first name i'm creating a variable called first name last name phone number zip code so forth so if you come back over to add contact.php that's why inside here i said first name last name phone number zip code so hopefully that's making sense hope it's hopefully it's sinking in there so if you remember what we did from the previous example in our index.php file, again, we had fields, first name, last name, phone number, zip code, which identified the, the fields and columns that we wanted to insert these values, Tom Green and the phone number and zip code into. So here I'm basically doing the same thing. I'm just taking that information that we are sending over from a form and inputting those or inserting that information into these fields. So enough talking. Let's see how it works. I may have typed something wrong, but we'll see here in a second. So here we're going to go to we named that file contact form.html. All right. So we have a form laid out here and 
what I'm going to do is go ahead and type, let's say, Sally, Sally, Tom, I don't know, phone number, zip code, 567243. Hit submit, and let's see what happens. So apparently everything went okay because if it didn't, if we go back to add contact, we should have received this or die message. Con could not add new contact, right? So if we go back over to our PHP my admin, click on contacts, as we can see, Sally Tom phone number as well as the zip code was added here. Now, very quickly, what I want to also show you or expose to you at least is in this or die field, we can also use another function from MySQL called MySQL underscore error, as well as an empty open and close parentheses. So what this is going to do is give us a more precise error message if we were to, say, input the wrong table here or maybe we left out a certain field and we was putting in maybe four different values, if that makes any sense. Here I'm saying that I want to access three fields, but for some reason I'm giving you four different values to put in three fields. That makes no sense. So, for example, if we did something like that or let's say we... For example, we input the wrong table name. I hit save, go back over here, click my back button. Let's this time do, I don't know, James, leave everything else the same, hit submit. As you can see, it says table phone book dot contacts two does not exist. So again, this just gives you a more precise error message. So this is something I may use. It just depends on the situation. So again, if I put that back and let's now have three fields, but I'm giving you four values, which makes no sense. I'm going to hit save, click back, hit submit. As you can see, column count doesn't match value count at row one. So again, it's just saying that you're saying that you want to access three fields here, but for some retarded reason, you're giving me four different values. It's like, where do you want me to put this last, this last value here? You didn't indicate that here. So again, this is just another tool that you can use if you ever needed to. So I'm just going to put everything back here, hit save. So that does complete this tutorial. And hopefully now you have a new or better understanding about how to insert information into a MySQL database. So be sure to take the online quiz at the phpbasics.com to ensure that you understand the basic fundamentals for inserting information into a database. And I will see you in the next video.